Azazel is a man demon capable of routing just about anything even if it has high leadership. Being unbreakable is about the only way to be safe from him. Here's an example, Silver and Guard for the High Elves, a very sturdy unit great for holding the line, currently sitting at 72 leadership, that is, damn solid leadership. But in comes Azazel, starts whispering his dirty talk in all these Silvering boys' ears, and despite them having that high 70 odd leadership, they're going bye-byes in less than 10 seconds of Azazel's contact. And well, if a tough unit like the Silvering Guard with their 70 leadership can't survive Azazel, what can? Maybe the Dwarven Ironbreakers, one of the toughest, most sturdy units in the damn game. Currently sitting around 60 to 70 leadership. In comes Azazel though, starts giving them a little tickle. And what we'll notice here is all the leadership penalties that stack up on the Ironbreakers mean that they simply cannot survive Azazel's assault of absolute leadership penalty bombardment. So how does Azazel do it? Well, he has a variety of ways to apply some big leadership penalties. First of all, Phantasmagoria from the Law of Slanesh. That's a minus 16 leadership penalty right there. It lasts for 11 seconds and pins the enemy in place. And then he also has the Demon Blade ability, which imbues Discouraged minus 16 leadership for 10 seconds on contact. So from those two things alone, that's a massive minus 32 leadership he can apply simply by popping those two at the same time. And then he also causes fear and terror, fear bringing another minus eight leadership unless a unit has immunity to psychology or causes fear themselves. And naturally as Slanesh, we're looking to get in that cheeky rear attack because that's another big leadership penalty from that as well. Not to mention that Azazel has devastating flanker to double his charge bonus. And with Azazel being a flying unit, this is very easy to maneuver into. But now let's do a little bit of math and add up these leadership penalties. So we've got minus 8 from fear, minus 14 from a rear attack, minus 16 from phantasmagoria, minus 16 from demon blade, and we're going to add in a variable with damage sustained penalties which could be anywhere from minus 10, 20, 50, who knows. But for this example we'll just say a light minus 10, that could be damage your target unit has taken from another one of your units or from Azazel himself. All in all with this example that's minus 64 leadership in one go that you can apply to a unit all at the same time. That's more than a lot of units base leadership. But wait, there's more. Keep that minus 64 leadership in mind and we can also remember that to terror route a unit you need to get them down to 13 leadership or below. So if you can bring a unit down to that for just a second or two you will terror route them which means any unit that isn't immune to terror which is most of them they will be routable even if they have 77 leadership which again is higher than a lot of units base leadership anyway. Hopefully that makes some sense and this is just an example with the damage sustained penalty of only 10. Let's say we crank that up to 20 that means it would be minus 74 leadership which means you could route a unit at 87 leadership in theory provided everything goes according to plan of course. Utterly disgusting huh? So what's the best rotation for all these spells and abilities? Well, as I mentioned, Azazel is flying, he's very mobile. Getting behind for the rear attack is no problem. So once you start to get in close, the first thing you'll want to use is the Phantasmagoria spell because it takes about five seconds to cast. Then you want to move in just as that's about to go off and then pop Demon Blade just as he makes contact to make the most of it. That'll apply the two big minus 16 penalties and then the attack in the rear penalty, which will be minus 14. And then away things go. Fear as well will be automatically applied, as well as any damage that Azazel or your friendly units do. And you can see this unit of Saurus went away quick time. You do have to be aware though that the attack in the rear penalty might not last very long and Phantasmagoria only lasts 11 seconds. So there's a bit of a small window to really apply the maximum amount of penalties. And it doesn't really matter if you do them in a different order to what I just showed, as long as they're all applied at the same time, it'll route just about anything. And maybe you're sat there thinking, whew, I'm glad I'm a demon slash undead player, I don't have to worry about that crap. Well, unfortunately for you lot, the same thing can be done to non-routable units that will still crumble or be banished away. It'll simply bring them to their unstable or crumbling or banished or disintegrating state very quickly. And even the pretty sturdy tanky plague bearers can't withstand this barrage of leadership penalties. It'll send them spiraling into a state of banishment fairly quickly. So nobody except for the unbreakable units really or those with an immunity to psychology is safe. And if you've got anything like 50 leadership or below, you've pretty much got no hope of not routing.
and even if a unit can't be terror routed or is immune to fear, like the old plague bearers here, the massive hit to their leadership, whichever way you slice it, is going to be incredibly detrimental to the unit you've targeted. So all in all for Azazel, if there's a unit that you want to get rid of quickly or that you want out of your way quickly, he's got the tools to be able to do it. This could also be an incredibly handy tactic in minor settlement or siege battles or any kind of choke point where you're being held in by a single strong unit. Well, simply bring in Azazel and all of those leadership penalties, bring it in from the rear and it'll be bye bye to that unit blocking and choke pointing you in there and you'll be able to get all of your units through to get to work. So you can keep an eye out for these kind of opportunities as Azazel, they can be very, very useful. And of course, it's not just infantry that can be routed with this tactic. It'll work on pretty much anything and is especially effective against those factions with low leadership like the Ogres, Greenskins, Beastmen, Skaven. You'll be able to route a lot of the stuff quickly, some of the time without even using all of the necessary abilities because maybe something's on cooldown. Demon Blade, for example, has like a two minute cooldown, so you've got to wait a while. But even if you can only use Phantasmagoria and the attack in the rear penalty, as well as the general damage, that can still rack up to a fair amount and can route a lot of lower leadership units. So just so much potential for Azazel to find these little opportunities where something is low on leadership and to take advantage of the spells and his abilities and his capabilities. Although if you want to try and route the stronger, tougher stuff with higher leadership, then you are going to need to bring everything in all at once as fast as you can. Let's say you've got a dragon here causing some problems. Now the dragon's pretty beaten up, but we can make it go away a lot sooner than it otherwise normally would and then chase it off so it doesn't come back. And the same thing with all kinds of single entities. Lords and heroes are going to be vulnerable to this as well. They might have more chance of having an immunity to psychology or fear and terror themselves. We've got a Lariel here at about 40 leadership. Bring Azazel in, drop the Discouraged from the Demon Blade, and away she goes pretty quick, just with a little extra damage and stuff. She's gone just a little sooner than she otherwise might have done. She was probably going to route soon anyway, but we got rid of her that little bit quicker. As I say, can still be good against the undead and the demons as well. Not quite as effective maybe as those units that will route and run away, but you can still get some work done. One nice thing about Phantasmagoria as well is because it pins the enemy in place, even if they do route, they'll want to try and run away, but because they're pinned, they won't be able to and they won't fight back. So they'll just stand there taking damage basically for the few seconds. So that can be very useful. You can also overcast Phantasmagoria to make it last like twice as long, which essentially just gives you more opportunity to stack in the big leadership penalties because Demon Blade lasts like 30 seconds, so you've got plenty of time on that. You could try, maybe if you don't get the attack in the rear penalty, you could come away and try again if you've got the longer duration. So there are some benefits to overcasting Phantasmagoria and because Azazel has that mobility to get in and out of combat quickly, you could try and apply that attack in the rear penalty a few times just to really make sure you dump that attack in the rear penalty along with everything else on top of your single target enemy. But there we go. That's how Azazel can route nearly goddamn everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the future.